Hi, my name is Dan Lucas. I'm the founder and managing director of Credo Financial Services. Today's video is about you working for you. Have you ever thought about going out on your own? About leaving your job? About doing something that you've always wanted to do? About getting a taste of the freedom that you've always thought about? Well, the fact is, most of us have. We're just too afraid to do it. In your life, you've always done what you were supposed to do. You went to college, you got a good degree, you landed your first job, you got a couple promotions. Now you're hanging on to that job like every good professional should do. You're making pretty good money. You have a lot of responsibilities now. You have a kid, or two, or three. You probably have a mortgage. You may have parents that will outlive their savings that you'll have to take care of. The problem is you're not living the life that you want to live. And you're really mad about it. You're not experiencing the freedom that you wanted to have. The quote-unquote great job that you have worked so hard for all these years is not giving you any satisfaction in your daily life. You didn't realize that when you were younger. But now you do realize it. You shouldn't have done all the things that you were supposed to do. You should have done the things that you were passionate about. The things that would have made you happy. The things that they would have been crazy to pay you for. I bet you still have a hard time envisioning starting your own business. You didn't start your own business because you were scared. Because you didn't have the time or the money to do it. Whatever your excuse was, you didn't do it. And that's the fact. Don't worry though. It's not too late to start a company, which might be your only hope to live the life that you want. Where you make the rules, not some boss that tells you what to do. But if you fail to act, it might be too late. And before you know it, you'll be in retirement looking back on your life, wishing you had started your own business. Don't have that regret. Social Security is now insolvent. We all know that. The money that you pay in today goes right out the door for the benefit of others. Job security in corporate America? Forget it. You'll never have it. Security's over. That's a thing of the past. Corporations don't keep employees for a long period of time anymore. What matters is corporate profits. And yes, you are expendable. Face the facts. The only rational thing you can do is invest in yourself. Get the freedom you always wanted. It's time to face your fears. So why does it make good financial sense to start your own business? Even if you continue to get your own paycheck, you're still paying a lot of money in taxes. That's true. But I would argue that investing that money in your future is a better investment than investing it in a corporation's future 10 hours a day. Instead, invest it in yourself. Now in the marketplace, especially with exponentially growing advances in technology, there's constant change. The good thing about constant change is that entrepreneurs and business owners can take advantage of this change. The people that suffer are the people that work in large corporate environments. They get downsized, they get fired, they get promoted over because they lose skills. Or just because, personal stuff, you know. It's a fast paced world, constantly changing. The best way to take advantage of this is to be on your own and invest in yourself. So the question you need to ask is a very simple one. Is your annual compensation after taxes really enough for you to justify the status quo of working for someone else? I'd argue the answer is no. And if you're taking a paycheck and deluding yourself to thinking that your freedom is too dangerous, fear is really controlling you. It's like you're in prison. For the logical at heart, and yes, sometimes there are entrepreneurs that exercise logic, starting your own company provides you with three main benefits. Number one, flexibility in your future plans, where you can control your own destiny. Number two, peace of mind. You won't have to sit at your desk worrying about whether or not you're on the chopping block. Number three, freedom. What I personally love most about the freedom is being able to show up and see my kids, more or less, whenever I want. I do work more hours. Yeah, and sometimes a lot more hours. 
But each day I have the flexibility to enjoy the things in life that really matter. Going to my children's activities and being there for them. That's priceless. And that's something you can do if you're on your own, running your own schedule. Now look, I'm a realist. I know not everyone is capable of quitting their jobs and starting up a business venture. I know that most people honestly have no interest in doing so. But if you do, if you're truly honest with yourself, you owe it to yourself to try. I understand that bills need to be paid. I understand responsibilities don't stop. But for those of you who are in a position to invest in yourself and your future, take a hard look in the mirror. Evaluate your fear that you have and make sure that that fear is not illogical and that you honestly cannot break through it. If you can, it's time for you to go out on your own and start investing in your future. If you'd like more information on starting a business or need any help in doing so, please call us at Credo Financial Services, 678-242-5230 or at www.credofinance.com.